I've been using macOS 10 since probably the first couple weeks the Kodiak beta was available in the year 2000. I mean, I've been using it longer than pretty much anyone else I know. And so as a result, I'm very, very familiar with the dock. Now, if you've had a, you know, a Mac for more than a week, I'm sure you're very, very familiar with the dock as well. But I just grew up with it. It's always been there. And through the years, I've been using dock less and less because I've been using Spotlight and Alfred and other powerful applications that can help me open files and, and applications and everything I need to at the whim of a couple key presses rather than having to use the dock. Although I still do use the dock to launch applications to see what's running, to access my downloads folder, etc. And so I don't want to get rid of it. The problem is though, is that it's become very intrusive and especially on a laptop, on a MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, that vertical screen space is incredibly precious. When you're viewing articles or when you're reading or when you're studying or reading a two-page PDF or when you're video editing, photo editing, et cetera, et cetera. I'd argue that vertical space is even more important than lateral space. So I'm going to show you how to get the dock into your life the right way because I found out about two weeks ago that I've been using the dock the, the wrong way my whole life. And I'm going to show you how to fix it and how to make your Mac OS X experience so much better. So the first thing that you need to do is hold down the shift key while you click this little separator and drag the dock over to the left side of the screen. Now, why the left side? I find that the right side of the screen is seldom used. Not to mention that all of your icons on the desktop are jotted to the right here or jotted to the left and I, I really dislike it. So onto the left side of the screen because that's where most of your content is. But you obviously don't want it on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide the dock by right clicking this little separator here. Now the issue with this, and I've tried this before, is that it takes so dang long for this dock to pop back out that it's super frustrating and I've always switched back after a couple of days. But you can see that vertically, we have all the space that we want in the world. We can go very, very top to bottom. It's superb, especially in applications that don't take advantage of Mac OS X's native full screen effect like um, Adobe Premiere or After Effects, Photoshop, etc. This is an awesome feature to have, but that stupid dock takes forever to come back on the screen. So what we're going to do is open Terminal. You can do so by launching Spotlight on your computer, or you can also find it in the Utilities folder of the Applications folder on the Finder file browser. Now, what we're going to do is you are going to paste this line of code into Terminal, but I'm going to explain what it means so you can get a general idea. com.apple.doc is a plist file. Now, plist files are property lists and they store settings and informations about bundles and applications on your computer. We are using a write command. So we are either modifying or adding a new line to this, um, this plist file. And you can see right here, auto hide time modifier. This is actually the uh, line or the command that we are modifying, okay? Um, it's a descriptor. So auto hide time modifier is something that Mac OS X utilizes to determine how much delay there is from the, the dock popping out from when your mouse is over here on the left side of the screen. And then minus INT means it's an integer that we're going to enter. So once you've done that, you need to uh, press the space bar and then enter any integer you want from one to from zero to a bajillion. For example, we could use 10. This is not a good idea and it defeats the purpose of this whole tutorial, <laughs> but we're going to reset the dock here. And you can see that it takes forever to pop back out. If that's your steez, if that's what you want, I guess you can do that. But I'm going to rewrite the integer to be zero. That means it will instantaneously appear on the dock. Now you can see this little command I did right here a little bit earlier, it's kill all dock. You'll need to enter that for the changes to take effect or you could log out, but kill all dock is just as easy. And now you can see, watch my cursor as it goes to the left side of the screen, it pops out immediately. Now this is awesome because I can use my mouse as normal over here. It's not going to interrupt with any of my stuff, but when I'm ready for the dock to come out, I scroll left, there it is. I can open the app or the downloads folder or whatever I need to instantaneously. It's superb. You can take advantage of your vertical screen space. You can get the dock into a place where you're always using it. And I just love it. I've used it for a couple weeks and I will never go back, not just on my laptops, but on any computer. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, put your dock on the left. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.